Journalists in South Africa and other countries have a right to protect their sources. It doesn't seem to be the case for Hope Well. What does the Zimbabwean law say? Uh, the Zimbabwe law is uh, is is very clear uh, that uh, that journalists have a right to uh, to protect uh, the uh, the uh, you know to keep their uh, sources confidential. The issue is really that uh, the Zimbabwe uh, government has no respect for its own laws and for its own constitution, and so this is why they have gone after Hopewell in in this case. Uh, and and you know as you rightly point out, it really seems to be. Uh, going after, trying to get, go after his his sources, and really going after the practice of of journalism. Uh, this is this is a, a case in which he uh, he accurately reported that uh, that the that the state would not oppose bail for a relative of uh, of President Mnangagwa who was caught with six kgs of gold on her way to uh, to to Dubai. Uh, that that came to pass. Uh, the the state initially did not oppose bail, and it was after th this uh, this this was exposed, and the magistrate said he wouldn't rubber stamp the state's uh, refusal to deny bail. That only then was she denied bail. But this is the case that uh, it's for that tweet that he is now being charged with uh, with obstructing the course of justice. Yeah, it's interesting though because given all of that, then it's safe to say he's not going to get a fair trial here. That that certainly is uh, is uh, is a is a is a grave concern of uh, of him and and us as his legal team. Uh, we uh, in his other case, you'll remember he was arrested in in, in July, um, also related to, to to tweets and to reporting that he was doing. In in that case, we had asked for the recusal of the magistrate on a number of grounds. That application for recusal was dismissed uh, this morning uh, and the way things are, are going in his in his second case uh, raised similar concerns to to those which we raised in the first yeah so let's talk about the calls for intervention here we've heard so many organizations saying that he needs to be uh, protected when it comes to the system the legal system and justice system in Zimbabwe what can the African Union or other countries do when we know Zimbabwe has time and time again said, leave us alone and let us do what we have to? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it certainly is a, a, a huge problem that there is so much impunity from the Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwe government and, and they seem very uh, impervious to any form of, of, of criticism or guidance. But I do think that, uh, that when that, uh, uh, you know, when, uh, when the SADC, South Africa and the African Union uh, speak as one voice uh, and, and do start to hold uh, Zimbabwe uh, uh, to account and simply ask the government to comply with its own constitution. Uh, we're not talking about imposing anything from uh, from the outside. We're simply saying respect your own constitution. Don't arrest journalists for doing their jobs. Don't arrest lawyers for doing their jobs. Don't arrest citizens for exercising their constitutional rights peacefully. Uh, then maybe with that level of, of of solidarity with the Zimbabwean people and pressure on the Zimbabwe government from from the, from its its African peers, uh, then uh, then that may have an impact. Yeah, obviously, whether that constitution is respected is at question here. Very quickly, tell me about his health. We know that he was ill previously. How's he doing now? No, he's he's doing okay now. So he he is in in Chikurubi Maximum Security Prison where he was held. The conditions there are not good, um, but uh, but his health uh, seems to be holding up, uh, and he remains in good spirits. Uh, he uh, he he is. Uh, convinced that that he is being persecuted simply for doing his job and standing up for what is right, exposing corruption, and so I think that gives him a certain peace of mind and a resolve uh, to uh, to to carry on fighting. Yeah, it's shocking, isn't it? We're going to have to leave it right there. Thanks for your time, human rights lawyer Douglas Coltart.